MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm here at Heimbuck in their factory in Germany. I'm with Clemens and I'm with Thomas. I've got here a test it kit. Now, principally, most engineers will know what clamping pressure their machine is producing on their chuck, but they might not know, or they tend to not know, what clamping force is actually getting through to the component. And that is what the test it kit is for. So I'm going to hand this to Thomas, he's going to put it in the machine, and we're going to talk about uh, how it works. Clemens, am I right? Is that really what the test it kit is for? Yes, it measures the radial clamping force. And we're now doing this to, uh, to see the difference between the static clamping force and the clamping force with rotating spindle. Okay, so, it, so would I be right as well in saying that if, this is important if you're doing thin walled components or you just want to make sure the condition of your chuck is in prime condition? Yeah, always important so the, the workpiece will not leave the chuck uncontrolled and especially for thin walled workpieces since you can uh, crush them. Okay, and when you're checking the condition of chuck, I mean, how often do engineers, I can bet that a lot of us that are watching this don't check the condition of their chuck. And, and if, if there is a problem with clamping forces, does that mean that the component can fall out of the chuck or in a machining process, or maybe you might not get the same surface finishes? What are the problems? All of them. <laughs> so we uh, now check every week in our own production the machine, uh, the, the, the chucks on the machine. And um, if the clamping force is not what it should be, or it has to be, or what the worker thinks it should be, then you have all the problems you, you mentioned. Bad surface quality, maybe not efficient production, maybe you could go faster, but uh, uh, you don't know how um, you're afraid, so you go slower, or the, the workpiece falls out and something is broken. And what could it be down to? What could the problems be down to? Just not greasing it, not looking after it? Grease maintenance, so maybe it's contaminated, it has to be cleaned. Um, we, ha we found a machine where the hydraulic unit was uh, flawed, so the, the tube had a little hole in there, leakage was larger, so the, the pressure didn't reach the cylinder. So you, you're also, this will help you preserve the lifetime or the lifespan of your chuck of course. your clamping heads. Of course. Okay, so now what we're going to do is Thomas is going to run the machine from 1,000... Uh, RPM upwards and we're going to have a look on the uh, tablet uh, and Thomas is going to go from a thousand RPM upwards in stages and we're going to see the differences Excellent. in clamping forces. So, yeah now we uh, are at 73 kilonewtons so we lost two kilonewtons already on the first thousand RPM. Right. Now we increase to 2000. Right. 64.1 left. Right. So and it's, the loss is exponentially growing. Yeah. 3,000 RPM now. Okay, let's go to 4,000, which is the maximum of the chuck. So, wow, that's at 4,000 RPM. We're now at 27.5 kilonewtons of force. So this has been on a three-jaw chuck here. Now, what we're going to do is change the three-jaw, or Thomas is going to change the three-jaw for a clamping head, and we're going to compare the results of the clamping force, which I'm, I'm assuming is going to be a lot better. Um, uh, they are different, yes. They're different. Okay, well, let's do that. Thomas, if you want to change it, over. So Thomas has now changed the three-jaw chuck, and we've now got a clamping head in here. Um, and we can straight away see, Clemens, you've got 171 kilonewtons of force. So straight away, there's a, there's a lot more clamping force in a clamping head. Yeah, the actuation force is the same, but uh, the transmission is different. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do the same experiment. So we're going to go up, if you want to take the machine up to 1,000 RPM. Uh, we've lost very little there, in fact. But very little, up to 2,000. And then up to 3. We're now at and 160, 60. up to 4,000. And what can this uh, chuck go up to? This is good for 5,000 RPM. Okay, so, so we're at 150 now. Let's take it up to 5,000. Let's see. You can already see we, we've lost a lot less clamping force using the clamping head. So where are we at? So we're at 138 kilonewtons at 5,000 RPM. 
So really, when you look, it's only, it's only just over 30 kilonewtons we've lost uh, in that between zero and 5,000 RPM. So it's a lot less than what we did on the three jaw. Totally. Okay, that's a really good bit of kit. Brilliant. Thanks, Clemens. Thanks. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.